find the inverse of y equals 3 to the power of 2x minus 1 plus 1. So right away I'm going to switch the x and the y because that is the inverse. And of course we want to isolate y. So I'm just going to get started by subtracting 1 from both sides of the equation. So I get x minus 1. So I can get rid of this guy on this side. Equals, so x minus 1 equals 3 to the power of 2y minus 1. Okay, so now I'm just going to change this equation from exponential form to log form. And the base of the exponent becomes the base of the log. And the exponent just comes down. That's it. Again, I'm just going to use a, uh, a similar example here. 2 to the power of 3 equals 8. So I'm switching this from ex exponential to log form. The 2 becomes the exponent. This guy comes down here. And the exponent, the actual exponent, which is the 3, just stays on the other side. So in this case, it did the exact same thing. Okay, so now I still want to isolate the y, so I'm going to add 1 to both sides of the equation. So that's going to be log 3 of x minus 1 plus 1 equals 2y. Then we can just divide both sides by 2. So y is just going to be equal to log base 3 of x plus 1 plus 1 all over 2. Or in other words, if you want to rewrite this as half log base 3 of x plus 1 plus half, that's fine as well. Now let's do question number 8. Okay, so again, of course we switch x and y because we're looking for the inverse. And we want to solve for y, of course. We want to isolate this guy. And actually let me pick a different color just so that we have more color on this video. x plus 1 is just x plus 1, of course, minus 5 to the power of 4 minus 3y. Great. Now I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1 to get rid of this negative here. So we're going to get negative x minus 1 equals 5 to the power of 4 minus 3y. Now I'm just going to rewrite this equation in log form once again. So the base becomes the base of the log. This guy is just going to remain as negative x minus 1. And that's equal to just 4 minus 3y. Great. Now let's subtract 4 from both sides of the equation. So we get just log base 5. Negative x minus 1 minus 4 equals negative 3y. Then we can just divide both sides by negative 3. And we're done. So y is equal to log base 5 of negative x minus 1 divided by negative 3. And if you want, you can even break this down, right? You can make it positive 4 over 3, because negative 4 divided by negative 3 is just 4 over 3. So let me just actually rewrite that for anyone that may, may be interested in an alternative way of writing this. We went out of room, of course. So I'm going to actually try to write it down here. That'll be negative log base 5 of negative x minus 1 all over 3 plus 4 over 3 and that's it